Right, we've got a new place today. It's in Sutton Scarsdale in Derbyshire. And would you believe it? It's called Sutton Scarsdale Hall. <laughs> just in front of this, it's a big wide open space. So I'm going to do some active track six on the Mavic 3 Pro. And today I've remembered my windsock. It's a bit windy up here, so you'll be able to hear me a lot more clearly than in the previous video. <laughs> a great country estate with lots of acres to it. As you can see, it's a really vast open space. There's a bench here I'm going to set up. And then there's a long path going straight down the middle of the field. So that's where I'll be doing the active tracks with the Mavic 3 Pro. So I'll just get down to the bench and set up. Let's get to it. Here we go. Right, the drone's just over 20 metres away there. Thumbs up to it. Right, to select active shots, just select the active shots tab. Then you'll see a directional icon appear. In this case, we're going to get the drone in front of us. So we'll just tap the F sign and the drone's going to slowly fly in front of me whilst keeping me center frame. What I have noticed with this, it doesn't fly directly in front of me. It'll keep hovering left to right as you'll see right now. Now we're just going to switch the icon to the right, that'll fly the drone to the right of me. But as you'll see from the footage, it's swaying backwards and forwards as it's doing this. Again, this could be a, it's just a software bug, software issue. I think in the future DJI will address the issues like this. It's not too bad on the right hand side, but when it was in front of me earlier, it was swaying around quite a lot. So now we're just going to switch it to the left hand side, do a nice fly over there. Whilst keeping me centre frame, I like how it does that. So now it's too close, it's just going to get to a decent distance away there. It just seems to be when it goes in front of me, there's a bit of an issue there. Now, when it stabilises itself behind me, as you can see, it's pretty sturdy, just like the left and right. Let's just switch to a diagonal position now. Let's just see if it holds steady, just like left, right and behind. So now it's diagonally in front. And again, look, as you can see, it's moving left and right as it's doing this. It doesn't keep a steady, stable direction. So just for future use, I'd recommend left to the right or to the rear. I wouldn't bother with diagonals either. And now I'll select the position from behind again, just so we can have a nice reveal shot of Sutton Hall. Here we go. So this next mode is called Spotlight. All you do here is just drag a box over the subject which you want the spotlight to follow and it's basically going to do exactly that. Just imagine this is a torch shining on you and wherever you move the torch is going to follow and highlight the subject. That's exactly what spotlight's doing here. The drone stays static whilst it just locks you centre frame and whilst it's tracking you so it's just moving on a pivot left and right. Now this is the last option on the menu at the bottom so it's called POI that's point of interest and what I'm going to do I'm going to obviously select the subject which is me again but I'm also going to zoom in at times three just so I can show you just how good that zoom is when it's locked on through basically the foreground messing around with the background this is called a parallax it looks like the background's really moving fast while the foreground's moving at a different speed and it gives you a great depth of field you just got to make sure you've got a wide open space if you're zooming in whilst doing these point of interest because for obvious reasons the drone's a lot further away from you. If you've got any obstacles, trees, bushes in the way, I wouldn't recommend using the three times. Just stick with the 24 millimeter at one times. So 
So I hope you enjoyed that video today on the Mavic 3 Pro Active Track. I covered POI, which is point of interest, active track, and spotlight. As you've seen in the video, spotlights, not too exciting, but it's nice to just have that following motion as the drone's static for a change. That's nice if you're just walking up to something, just for that in the background. With the active track, drag over the subject and it highlights a green box and then it'll be good to go to follow you, keep them sensors on. But it's not too great when you're putting it in directions. I think DJI need to address that in a future firmware so it becomes more smooth because that drone's dancing everywhere and it just doesn't make sense. I'm not near any obstacles or anything for that drone to be dancing and stopping and starting as it's doing. So that really needs addressing DJI. I think a future update is going to address that issue and then we'll get a real smooth cinematic active track. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I'll be posting plenty more tech tutorials in the near future. So be sure to keep your eyes out on my channel as they may help you. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as it does help the channel along the way. Thanks for watching and bye for now.